In the new release of Cubase 15, Steinberg completely overhauled the expression mapping. And honestly, after a few intensive writing sessions with this tool, I thought I have to make a deep dive video about this because this is awesome. Writing orchestration has suddenly become more accessible to everyone. Hi, I'm Ewout from Railfood Productions. Welcome to this deep dive. If you've ever touched orchestration, even if it was just for composing a string quartet to back up your track, I want to show you why the old way of working is now obsolete. I want to show you a new and better and smarter way to do this. A way that actually saves time for what's important. Not fighting with your system, but actually making music. Because you always use expression maps in the context of an orchestra, I've split this video into two parts. First, I'm going to show you the most convenient way to set up an orchestra, and then step by step, how to use the expression maps. Let's dive in. Did you know that uh, in Cubase, if you uh, insert a rack instrument, I did this before, um, you can uh, have all instruments in one big rack, and the rack has one output, the instrument is on the master output, it's on the screen, let's pull it here. And then you have your uh, library, in this case Iconica Sketch, and I have all these uh, instruments that I want in my orchestra, uh, and I just uh, put them here in these slots, you can have uh, up to 64 I think um, uh, instruments. Uh, and in my case I order them because I like uh, uh, to, to work this way, I order them along the range they're in. So the bassoons have the lowest range, as you can see on the keyboard here. And then you have the basses, and that, uh, which, uh, that have uh, basically, well, <laughs> it's one note up, um, the same range. And then you have the tuba all the way up to the glockenspiel, that is all the way up here. Um, and then for each lane, as you can see, uh, they are assigned to A1, A2, A3, and so forth. You have to make a, a not an a, a instrument track, but a MIDI track. And if you see this MIDI track, and here on the side I see channel 1, and then the basses are on channel 2, and the trump two bass are on channel 3, and they correspond. Uh, correspond. So if I click one, um, the, the selection will be automatically connected to the instrument in the rack. So, it's perfect. Uh, it keeps it uh, clean and simple. And later on, uh, it uh, also gives me flexibility. So, I really like uh, this way of working. Um, so let's enable the first track. Oh, um, and with these uh, switches here, I can switch to legato, spiccato, sustain, legato, tremolo, sustain, vibrato, and of course, staccato. Hmm. Or should I start with the basses, maybe? Maybe go a bit lower. Yeah, maybe just uh, give it a go. Just another sleepless dreamer Watching the indigo blue As it fades into The world as the lights do So many places and so much to do Memories that my mind keeps running through They all seem to revolve and to gravitate into No, no. Head spinning I've ever been in. in my sanity I'm breathing in the limit Sweet dreams Cold feet Sore spine Comfort out The door Brings me 
What do we want to do next? Uh, let's see. I got the basses, the jelly, another uh, harmony layer on the second verse. And listen to my uh, mind's ear. I hear them. Let's do them. Okay, I recorded the violins. Let's play it back. Isn't so much to do. Memories that my mind keeps running through. They seem to reform. Now when quantized to my ear they all sound a little early and what I used to do was manually uh, repair the timing of these so they sound right but that is a lot of work but I think this is a good place to transition into the second part of this video namely expression maps. Let me show uh, you a neat way to find uh, tools you know you have but you don't know where you have them. Just uh, type it in, in help, and it shows you. Here, MIDI expression map setup. Add expression map, file in one, okay. Uh, okay, it imported it, all right. How easy will this be? To see if I can um, get it a little more tight. This isn't so much to do. Memories that my mind keeps running through. They all seem to revolve and to gravitate into No, no Head spinning Now, to show the articulations uh, in the uh, editor you click the little plus here and then uh, articulations, there they are Expand the group, oh, that's very small it's getting a little cramped in here. Make these ones a little smaller and reopen the expression map setup and then uh, resize the screen a little bit. And then here under type, you can set it to uh, either, either press per note or press to switch. Uh, and this way you can draw in the expressions. So that's uh, pretty easy and straightforward. Let's reset the playheads. So many places and so much to do. Memories that my mind keeps running through. They all seem to revolve and to gravitate into. No. No. And now for this part, just these two notes, I want to have a legato. And then switch back to the default, which is staccato. Sanity, I'm breathing in the limit. Sweet dream. And then here, back to legato. And it's already finding the beginning of this note, so that's perfect. Violas, violas. Let's uh, record them. And uh, I'm gonna try something out here. Yeah, let's try that for the chorus, the second part of the chorus. It should work. Okay. I think we're almost uh, done. Listen to the whole thing. I'm just another sleepless dreamer. 
Watching the indigo blue as it fades into the world as the lights do. So many places and so much to do. Memories that my mind keeps running through. They all seem to revolve and to gravitate into. No, no. Head spinning. The hungriest I've ever been. In, in my sanity, I'm breathing in the limit. Everything is dark and heavy. So that is how the workflow looks now. Before I give you my final thoughts, if this video helped clear things up for you, please hit the like button, consider subscribing, it really helps out a tiny channel like this and ensures you don't miss the next deep dive. Now, full disclosure, I haven't been composing for orchestras like Hans Zimmer or Dom Sigalas might. I don't know if he actually does this, but he definitely could. But I have dabbled in this subject a few times. You might recognize this feeling. In the past, it usually led to endless tweaking and frankly, a bit of frustration. It actually made me shy away from writing those beautiful cinematic backdrops for my music. And that was a shame because I was raised on the great masters of classical music, Mozart, Bach, Beethoven, Vivaldi. I absolutely love those interweaving strings, brass sections that literally knocked your socks off. And flute is fluttering freely through the sonic, sonic landscape. Flute is fluttering freely through the sonic landscape. <laughs> but while researching for this video, it hit me. I don't know exactly how it was before, but the way expression, mappy work, expression mapping works now, it feels exactly how it should be. I don't think there's any other doll that managed to pour it into such a fluid workflow. And I hope Steinberg patented this, because for anyone drawn to cinematic music, Cubase is going to have a serious edge. However, while Steinberg nailed it with expression maps, I can't say the same for every new feature in Cubase 15. <laughs> I took OmniVocal for a spin, thinking it would be cool and fun. Well, let's just say uh, the experience was a very different story. <laughs> but if you want to see me suffer and <laughs> find out my honest take on vocal synthesis, you need to watch this video right here or here. Thanks for watching. See you there at Elvita. Thank you.